unbutton your trousers and rub yourself in body oil because after you watch this video, I promise you will need to take a bath. As Bitcoin right now sits on the literal brink, the edge of potentially the biggest possible population we've seen since September of 2020, there are numerous signals blasting us in our faces right now that are impossible to ignore. Right now, Bitcoin sits on the literal brink as we enter what will soon be weekend trading where normally Bitcoin volatility over the past year has subsided a little bit. But with something very big happening on a chart that is not Bitcoin, it gives us hints and clues as to what is to come. And believe me, it's bigger than you could ever imagine. With Bitcoin right now, actually just moments away from getting yet another bullish cross the very first time in weeks. And we've been in this dumpy range for Bitcoin's price. And ever since the FTX debacle, Bitcoin has just simply been trading sideways right at the exact same level, which actually is now the new point of control of the last 100 weeks, right around 16,000 or 16,000.8, uh, 16.8 thousand. And the prior or a 200 week POC is around 10K. Uh, and then obviously the 300 week is very, very low down at the last bear market bottom. But what is simply so big about this is that as Bitcoin struggles right now to flip 17K and hold it as support, a lot of other things are happening as well. Uh, also, I mean, the altcoins uh, continue to actually slowly move up, specifically ADA heading towards that 28 cent mark after falling below 30 cents, which it was holding for a very long time. Uh, Ethereum actually holding up a little bit better than ADA and a lot of altcoins as well. Uh, Ethereum actually making, again, another potential move back into this range that has us trapped basically between 1250 and 1700 that we have been in for much longer uh, than the FTX collapse, actually for about like seven or so months now, where Ethereum has been range bound, range bound there. And Bitcoin itself, well, let's just say it looks as though, it looks as though uh, a potential pump to the upside is is on the way here. And one of the things we see today is a massive rejection with the DXY as it tried to climb back above that 105 level, which it did briefly. But you see a massive bearish engulfing candle here that actually, as I've as I've been recording this video, continues to soak up some dumpage as well continues to kind of move down a little bit and the story with the dxy is that you know as i've been saying for a long time even i think it's possible we even could make a move back up to 110 and that would not be necessarily a good bullish scenario for the dxy that's an area to where i look uh that's an area where i personally think that it would get rejected at that level but we have not even had enough strength with the us dollar for it to get up to that range anyway it has not been able to do that anyway um, and as we were in this very strong trend for multiple years with the DXY, very parabolic, it is no secret now that we've broken out of that parabolic structure. And um, I mean, realistically, look out below, in my opinion, it does not look like the DXY is going to be carrying this momentum for the next couple of years like it just previously did. Uh, it looks as though that ship has sailed. And what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, we have some green lighting, potentially uh, some runway, some rampage, some absolute population in store, potentially for a nice strong relief. Now, Bitcoin itself, okay, if I would have to summarize what we, where we are right now, it looks as though it is like it is the quiet before the storm. Now, as we've been talking about, the, the stock market doesn't look great. We just had a bearish cross, which is not good there. But this is one of those scenarios where I'm kind of anticipa uh, anticipating the potential for one of the biggest switcheroos, one of the biggest reach arounds, one of the biggest fake out, breakout, mommy makeouts that we've ever seen. And it's simply undeniable. Um, and more specifically with Bitcoin here, uh, the, the most exciting thing that we're still watching is to see if Bitcoin truly can break this trend, this multi-month trend. This is on the four hour chart and it even goes back a little bit further if we if we zoom out and go to other charts. But uh, truly, this is like a this is not a boring moment because we at the this is one of those times right this is one of those times where if we have a move where we we look you know you go out to applebee's with your family you get some half priced apps maybe you even have a little bit of a uh alcoholic beverage or something absolutely crazy right you come home you're a little tipsy maybe you send your ex-girlfriend an i love you text and then you take a look at the bitcoin chart and we're up fifteen hundred two thousand dollars and you think to yourself what in good what in tarnation just happened, right? What in good gravy just happened? And this is one of those moments where, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but this is one of those moments where, in my opinion, you need to watch and be aware of this because we have not had this possibility for a long time. The charts have 
not been showing this as a possibility for a long time. Uh, it's just been sideways straight dumpage. But now as we come to this long-term trend line, it is possible. And it's possible to, again, uh, I'm very interested in, in potentially making a trade here. Uh, I'll be, I'm going to wait for confirmation here because uh, we have not gotten confirmation, in my opinion. Uh, it's so it's still very boring. But, um, you know, it's this is one of those times where the ignition could happen extremely fast. And I think it's absolutely worth um, just being aware of where we are. And um, I mean, again, it, it, there's a million things you can look at. But when you take a look and zoom out really far on this chart, there are very long, prolonged periods of complete dumpage, right? Very big. Uh, times of complete dumpage, but very rarely is it just complete dumpage only. And that is what we've seen for well over a year now. And there is going to be a relief, whether it's a relief just like it was back in the summer of 2019, which I personally think is the most likely scenario where we have a nice relief and then, you know, get dumped on again for a couple more months. Uh, whatever the case is, guys, I mean, it is very lopsided to where uh, it just takes one moment, one bullish candle, and everything changes, okay? I mean, picture this. If Bitcoin, you take, you know, say you do go on that Applebee's date and you find the love of your life, right? And you decide to check the Bitcoin chart after that beautiful, wonderful experience with what potentially could be your soulmate, you look at these chart and you see we are up a couple thousand dollars. Let's say we broke that $17,000 resistance. Now we're shooting up to 18, 19, even the dreaded 20,000 and we get up to that level you understand how FOMO works. The FOMO will kick in so quickly, literally instantly. All it takes is literally a mere moment of euphoria. And, uh, you know, that's how it happens. You never see those prices again. Now, it hasn't happened yet, but all I'm saying is uh, there's something going on here. There's something going on, and it's something big. This is absolutely time sensitive alerts. Taking advantage of over $50,000 in deposit bonuses with Bybit, BitGet, and Femex below. Specifically with Bybit and BitGet links below. If you click my links below, uh, besides those all uh, those free deposit bonuses and welcome bonuses as well, zero fees for spot trading, right? Absolutely phenomenal. You basically can't pass that up. Without any further ado, that's it for me.